Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will discuss about a really amazing platform which is Equals. Equals is an advanced level of Microsoft Excel which is user friendly, easy to use and next generation spreadsheet with multiple options to integrate different platforms as data source. So that your reporting keeps updating with each new update in the data source or database. Now you can see the interface which is looking like Google Sheets and Excel but as it is also an online web based program so it has more similarities with Google Sheets but offers way more features than Excel and Sheets. Let's talk about their connection feature. So you can see this here. The best part is you can integrate your database with equals which will allow you to fetch information directly from your main data source. And you can see they have many integration options you can choose from. They not only have options from any single sector but multiple options from finance, marketing, project management and general options as well. So now let's check how this integration works. We are back here and now we will explore this option which is connections. So when you will click here you will see no connection. In order to connect to a data source we will click here and now you can see I have already connected Snowflake as data source and you can add new data source from here but as I have already connected Snowflake so I will click here and it will give us two options one is query builder and another is SQL editor. So if you want to write SQL you can click here but I will use query builder here when I will click here it is showing this option tables and columns so from here I can select my data so in my database I have all these information which I can use now let's select this first one COVID cases in United States when I will click here it will give us a breakdown of that data so with this data we have cases city count date ID and state. You can also uncheck if you don't want any particular data but I need all so I will click save and then run query and it will take few seconds you can see time here and within 15 seconds we got our data here so you can see cases count, city, count date ID and state and the interesting part is whenever you will have any update in your data source you can easily fetch that data here and now you can see here sheet is showing Snowflake logo which means this sheet is fetching data from Snowflake and now you can see this data and if we go further down you can see the details and we will go up all the way up and we can select this data I mean all data and from this option you can see we have filters here and custom sort as well so we will use custom sort and let's say we want to sort columns by date and then okay and when we will go up you can see this data is organized by date now let's add a new sheet and here we will again use our data source so we'll click here and we'll select snowflake again and query builder and from here we'll select our data mm. okay let's check this one and here we have three main type of data save and run We got our data here, we have channel, date and marketing spend. This is also integrated with Snowflake so any changes in Snowflake will also get updated here when we will click refresh. You can also check data here, it's a large amount of data, 169 lines. Let's go all the way up. The second reason why equals is better than Excel, first we already discussed that data integration system to get live data into equals and second main reason is its user friendly interface. As you can see every feature which is commonly used is just in front of your eyeball. Let's discuss a few features in detail to make my point clear. So as we have this data and I will select this data till the end and I will press Control K and you can see we have this pop up and with the help of this I can use any feature which I want to use. Let's say now I want to use pivot table however it is already in the screen you can click here but let's search here you can see insert pivot table like this 
we can see pivot table and the thing I really liked about it you can just click here and just by pressing it you can drag this here or you can take this from columns to rows and it is really easy and then I will take marketing span and drag it in values so you can see we got everything here for different channels we have total here and total by channel here as well and now if you want to filter this further you can select date and drag it here in columns but you might be thinking it got messy but let's use group data so when I will click here and I will merge this data by month you can see data sorted out by month and by channel and I want to remove decimals so I will select this data till here like all the data and from here I will add dollar sign and then I will remove decimals so now you can see we got clean data in just few minutes and let's check other options let's use quarterly here yeah this is amazing so you can see quarterly data so first three months of the year then next three months then July till September and last quarter is last three months of the year so as you can see how easy it is to use equals than Excel or Google Sheets now let's close this and I want to use conditional formatting here so I will select this data till here let's remove grand total so I will select only these quarters and then by pressing ctrl k I will type conditional formatting and enter so we got conditional formatting here from here we will set up conditional formatting so here we have two options color scale here you can see high to low number but I will use highlight sale so I want to highlight specific sales however this feature is not so easy to use for beginners in Excel but here you can use it easily so from format rules I will select anything greater than a value so let's say I want to add 200,000 so you can see conditional formatting has excluded one cell from the data so if I increase this further let's say 300,000 so you can see the highlighted sales let's make it 500,000 now you can see the changes here and also you can make it bold so your selected range will be bold italic underlined you can also change the color of the fonts let's say I want to highlight those as red so you can change it you can change color of the background as well so let's say I want gray so this will also give you a preview of it I hope you like this video about equals as it's making things easy to use even for people who don't have much knowledge about Excel and you guys can try to use equals from the link below and explore these amazing features yourself and if you want me to make another video about equals and explain more features about it then please show your interest in the comments and if this video was helpful please hit that like button comment down if you have any question share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe